Hey guys! So as promised, I'm going to show you the rest of the drugstore makeup that I purchased recently. Um, notice anything different? Uh, what could it be? <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I got that at Target yesterday and the little lights on there are shaped like spiders. They're spider... Let me show you the box. <laughs> they were three dollars in that section when you first walk in at Target where all those little cubby things are. Starry lights, 10 color changing LED lights. They use two AA batteries and they change colors. I'm looking at it now and yeah okay now I see it. Yeah you have to really look at it but I thought that was so pretty. I think I'm gonna go back today and get one more strand because just having one single strand like that um, I don't know, it seems off, off kilter. I'm going to get one more strand and put it on another little um, thing that it's like a little screw in the wall where I can attach it. I wanted to put it going across, but you can't because the thing where you put the batteries is at the end of the string and it's really heavy with the batteries in it. So there isn't any way that you could attach that to the wall. It would just pull down. Um, so I just decided to go straight down and then like I said I'm gonna buy another string and put that over on this side right here. So yeah, Target three bucks. I'm gonna start decorating my house soon. I want to get my decorations up early this year because um, I don't know, time goes by so fast that it feels like you just put the decorations up and you don't even have time to enjoy them. So this year I'm going to start early and um, maybe this weekend I will decorate the house for Halloween. I love Halloween decorations. Um, okay, so let's get started then. I have a couple things from e.l.f. Do you remember me talking about this spoolie? that e.l.f. has is just called the Lash and Brow Wand. It's just a spoolie. It's a buck. And I really like it and apparently I used it and washed it so many times that I broke it. So had to replace that. One dollar. If you want a spoolie that has a nice texture to the um, bristles, can't recommend that enough. It's a buck. And then I didn't have their highlighting brush. So I bought that yesterday, brought it home, washed it, and used it for my highlight today. And I feel like it something about the way that it picks up the product and distributes it and blends it, I feel like it does work a little better than uh, what I had been using. So that was $3. So I'm glad I got that. And then in yesterday's video, I showed you a ton of LA Girl things. Well, I didn't show you everything. I also got the Oomph Maximum Volume Mascara. Maybe I did show you this in a previous haul. I can't remember. Um, anyway, I use this and I'm not fond of this. If you do find an LA Girl display at either CVS or Ulta, I wouldn't recommend this and um, it's just it's really dry it's really thick it does deposit onto your lashes okay but I I feel like it's old before I even started you know I just I just open this and it's already all dried up and everything so some brands that's just how they make their mascaras they make them a dry formula some people actually like that I am not one of them, um, so no, I would not recommend the Oomph Mascara by LA Girl. And then I have been on the search, on the hunt for like the perfect brow product. I think I found it, but what I did was over the course of the last week I bought a bunch of brow products to test out. and. Um, so one of the things that I bought was by LA Girl. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. It's just a brow pencil on one side and a spoolie on the other. I don't feel like this color is quite right. So this is not 
my new Holy Grail brow product. <laughs> I also bought the Inspiring LA Girl Brow Kit. And I bought the shade medium because I thought this was going to be the best color out of the bunch as far as what I was looking for. You get, you get an applicator slash spoolie, you get a pair of mini tweezers, and you get um, two highlight shades and then two brow shades. I'm sorry, you don't get two highlight shades. You get, you get a highlight shade, a wax that's more accurate, and two brow colors, and um, I haven't had a chance to try this yet, but I'm not going to be in a big rush to try it because I think I found my holy grail brow product, which is not by LA Girl. We will get to it in a minute. I bought one of the LA Girl Just Blushing blushes. This is really pretty. It's a matte blush. It's called Just Playful. And I need something to pop this open with. Here we go. Yeah, this is really pretty. This is like a nice natural goes with everything type of color. There's the color right there. Let me swatch this on my hand. That's not a very good swatch, but... <laughs> That's the color right there. It's not like crazy pigmented, which I like that. I don't like blushes that are super pigmented because I like to be able to just swirl my brush in there and then blend it and not have to worry about picking up too much product. So I do like that. The color selection on these leaves a little bit to be desired as far as I'm concerned. This was the only color in the line that I really liked. The rest of them were extremely warm tone. So if you like warm tone makeup, you might like that. But um, yeah, I do like this one though. So that's it for the rest of the things for LA Girl. And then I got a couple of things from LA Colors. Just in case you don't know, LA Colors and LA Girl are owned by the same parent company. I think it's called Beauty 21. Let's see, is it printed on here? Yes, I was right. Beauty 21 owns LA Colors and LA Girl. Now, LA Colors, I'm sure you've seen them at Dollar Tree, but that's like a special line that they make just for Dollar Tree. That isn't like their regular line of makeup. I used to buy LA Colors makeup at Kmart, but now we have no more Kmarts anywhere near this area. They're all closed. So now if I want... Um, LA Colors, the regular line, I have to get it at Family Dollar or Christmas Tree Shops. And uh, I know a lot of people don't have Christmas Tree Shops, so I'm not going to mention that. So I did buy these things. I actually bought one thing at Christmas Tree Shop and the other thing I bought at Family Dollar. So let's start with this. This is just a very basic uh, brow pencil. It just says LA Colors Brow Pencil Medium. This is pretty much the type of color that I was looking for. And um, it so it has a pencil on one side, a spoolie on the other. I've used this, I like it, but I like the other thing I bought better that I'm gonna show you. This is a new product, fairly new product by LA Colors. It's called Browy Wowy. Browy Wowy Brow Pencil. And this is in the shade light slash medium. This is perfection. And the best part is it's only two bucks I think I paid for this. It was either two dollars or two dollars and change. It was like practically nothing. And here's what it looks like. So you get a twist up cream angled liner brow pencil on one side. And then you get a spoolie on the other side. This is amazing, you guys. I think that you might remember that I said that Maybelline uh, Brow Drama Pomade Crayon was my favorite brow product up until now. 
I like that, but as you use it and it starts to go down, it's a very thick, um, it's a very thick, wide product. So as you use it, you start to lose the tip over time. And then it becomes increasingly more difficult to put it on and not get it all over your skin too. So this is way thinner. It's more like an eyeliner, but in terms of size, but um, it's got a really cool like teardrop shape to it. And yeah, this is the texture of it is so nice. It just glides on and it almost blends as you're doing it. It looks like if you look at my brows, it looks like I put more on this eyebrow than I did on this one. Or maybe did I forget to blend? this eyebrow out. I put the product on and it kind of blends as you're applying it and then I run this spoolie through it. And this is really, really something you guys. Okay, that's a little better but it still looks darker on that side. Okay, so you know what? I'm gonna stop the camera and fix this because that's bugging me and then I will be back all right that's better so I added a little bit more to um, this side okay so anyways yeah I love this um, I think I'm gonna have to do a video just showing you how I do my brows now because this is so incredible and so cheap and there seems to be quite a bit of product in here it's um well, it says it's only 0.5 grams or 0.018 ounces of product, but it uh, it's really, really nice. Can't say enough good things about this. Of all the brow products that I bought over the course of the last week, this is my favorite. And I think I'm done trying and buying new things. So, yeah, this could be like holy grail status. Okay, and I have one thing from Milani to show you. I finally found the new Color Harmony blushes. These are at Walgreens. That's the only place I've seen them so far. They're new. They, oh, I got the shade um, number one, Pink Play. And they have like a wheel of different colors and you can either use them individually and stick a small brush in there or you can swirl them together. I like to swirl them together and it is what I am wearing right now and um, oh, just really really pretty but Milani is getting so expensive. This was um, I think this was $11. Yeah I'm pretty sure it was $11 which that's a lot for a drugstore blush I think so yeah, Milani's really getting up there. But, um, okay, so Walgreens is the only place I've seen these. And they're not even at every Walgreens. They're only at select Walgreens. I hate it when they do that, you guys. I hate having to go to a specific store within a chain just to get certain items. That is such a pain in the neck. Okay, I'm going to swirl my... I do have this on, but I'm going to swirl my finger in here just so you can see the color. So see, it doesn't even really look like probably when you think pink, that's more of like um, like a golden pink. And then that's the shade right there. But isn't that pretty? It's like a glowy, a glowy golden pink, I would say. Very glowy. Okay, and I've got some stuff from Wet n Wild. Uh, the mascara that I am wearing right now is the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. I've had this before and it is very good and very inexpensive. I think it's $3. Really, really inexpensive, but very nice. I've had this a mm, couple times before probably. Just a very small, basic type wand. Just nice formula, nice price, and easy to find because it's pretty much everywhere that sells Wet n Wild. So I really like that. 
And then I picked up another one of their um, Color Icon Coal Eyeliners. This is in Sema Brown Now. This is just a very basic brown eyeliner. And I have this on um, top and bottom right now. So it's just, it's like a typical coal type style eyeliner. 99 cents, can't beat that. And I finally got around to buying one of the Pout and Kiss lip balms. I just bought the plain basic one. And I didn't buy these when they first came out because I had seen some bad reviews on them. And I don't think this is bad at all. I think it's like your typical basic liner. Um, not, I'm sorry, not liner, lip balm. I don't know why people didn't like this now. I think they said it wasn't that moisturizing, but the way I do my makeup is I just put on a lip balm first, do all my makeup, then do my lip products. So I don't normally wear a lip balm just on its own. So I don't know, maybe that's why it works out okay for me. But again, very inexpensive. It's Wet n Wild, you can buy it pretty much everywhere, and uh, it's just clear. But they do have some tinted ones, but I just wanted the, the plain one, so I got that. And then I bought some more things from the Halloween displays. The Halloween Wet n Wild displays are popping up all over the place now. I'm seeing them at most Walgreens and Rite Aids is where I've seen them, and there's different displays depending on which stores you go to. Walgreens has a massive display and Rite Aid has um, some smaller like little cardboard displays but Walgreens has this ginormous thing that just goes up really high and has everything on it. So I bought five things from those Halloween displays in addition to what I've already shown you in previous videos. And I was pretty excited when I saw these. I, I got these at um, Rite Aid. I was pretty excited, but I think they are also on the Walgreens display as well. But I was pretty excited when I saw these because these were part also of the Wet n Wild limited edition summer collection that I never found. I never found it anywhere. And um, so I was so glad that they did this and released these with the Halloween collection because it gave me the opportunity to try it. All right, the first thing I'm going to show you is the Mega Last Iridescent Lip Color in Unicorn Soul. And what this is, is it's a blue lipstick topper. So, I mean, you can wear it by itself, but I wouldn't. I, ju I just wouldn't. So what I did today was I line and filled in my lips with a lip pencil and it's the mauve one that I showed you in yesterday's video by LA Girl and then I put this on top. So I basically, you know, you can see the mauve and then I've just got like a blue sheen on top and this is also supposedly a dupe for uh, something that Too Faced has. I don't, I don't have that but too Faced also released some of these lipstick toppers. So there's this one, the blue one, and then there's also a white one. I don't, I didn't know if I was going to like this or use it, so I just bought this blue one, but I, I might try the white one if I go back to those stores and see it again. I don't know what, what that would do though, other than make your lips shiny. I don't know if it would give you a white sheen or if it might reflect some other color. If you know, if you have that, let me know. But um, this is, uh, this is <laughs> you can see some pink on there because I put it on over the, the lip liner. But yeah, I think that's pretty. And I don't think it's like too much. I think it's just enough to make it interesting. And then they also had the loose pigments from the summer collection. So I was really happy to get these because like I said, I never saw the summer collection anywhere. So the one that I have on is Unicorn Wishes, which is the blue. This has got, uh, in addition to blue, it isn't just straight up blue. It's also got like gold reflex in it. And um, 
this is really messy though you guys really messy if you decide to get this and you use it I strongly recommend that you do your eyes first and then do your face makeup after because it just goes everywhere so very messy but you know that's typical of loose pigments and then I also got uh, mythical dreams which is the purple and this is a pretty deep shade of purple this has got some punch to it so uh, yeah very nice I've used all these that I'm about to show you multiple times I've been having a lot of fun with them this is Pegasus flutter this is like a pink yeah it's like a rosy pink almost borderline lavender so it's like a purpley pink but this is very very light in color so if you just want something subtle this dusted on the lids with you know whatever you normally use for a crease color is very pretty and then they have uh, one that is not from the summer collection and this just said gold pigment now I know they did release some gold pigments before but this is not one of those this is I think a new release and it's just a straight up gold so I've used this too and um, that I think is it you guys so that is my drugstore makeup haul the, and now you're all caught up on what I've purchased so now I can start doing some get ready with me videos and or um, full product review videos like I really really want to do a separate video on this LA Colors Browie Wowie because this is amazing it deserves its own video especially for the price this is so good and um, the rest of the things I'll probably just do like you know a get ready with me video the things I showed you today and or things I showed you in yesterday's video because I know a lot of you want to see the primer and the foundation that I showed you yesterday in action so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you are not currently subscribed to me, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.